What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Arbor Knight here, your Tekken Game Crusader, and we're getting ready for the uh, Nintendo Nindy Showcase Spring 2019 event. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a gander, see what's going on with this. Give you my impressions and feedback based on what we see. It's just now getting ready to start. Good morning. I am Dr. J.M. Lounsbury. And it seems it's a pretty rough launch. So let's go ahead and crash all other tabs just to make sure it has the best chance of running as we can get. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let's close the, the chat. Care, you're bound to splash all over. Your whole day is ruined. To demonstrate proper pouring technique. Yeah, this is uh, getting annoying here, Nintendo. Rough launch. We'll try and actually go to the live.nintendo.com site and see if we have any better luck. Wait, did I just see Cuphead coming to Nintendo? Yes, I did. Holy crap, guys. Let's uh, and change that to there. All right. Yeah, this is uh, getting annoying, Nintendo. How many times are we going to refresh? Nintendo wasn't prepared for all. For the ride. Those gorgeous hand-drawn cell animations rendered in classic yeah. style. Cuphead for Nintendo Switch. Awesome. Good way to start off. Good way to start off. Now, if we can only just keep your entire sh broadcast going without erroring out. You know, actually, we're going to try this another way. Thank you for joining as we showcase upcoming games in our first Nindy Showcase of 2019. We couldn't wait to share the news about Cuphead. We couldn't wait to have our broadcast stop as soon as it starts. Because that's what's happening. A whole lot. Alright, so... Let's see if we can get it to load this way. We'll use the un called for browser that there's even more great indie content on the way later this year all right let's start this thing over just to be able to give it a fair shake and it'll also give it time to uh, finish everything off that it needs to get buffered in everything properly so yeah we'll uh we'll do that There we go. All right. Now we'll let it roll that beautiful beam footage. Yeah! Hype all over again. Let's see what they got. Good morning. 
I am Dr. J.M. Lounsbury from the Ministry of Drink and Health Regulation. While many working adults start their day with coffee, we recommend to switch to milk to complete your regiment of nutrifying activity. Almond if milk. you are making the switch, a very great annoyance which occurs often Oat with milk, milk occurs during the pouring of it. If you tackle a particularly vicious pour without taking the proper care, you're bound to splash all over. Your whole day is ruined. To demonstrate proper pouring technique, I shall apply my face protector. <laughs> Splendid. Now the optimal way to pour milk is to raise the pouring container and angle it at no more than 45 degrees positively as you approach your drinking vessel. I will now begin to pour. I wonder if this is going to be uh, part of the uh, Xbox, Microsoft, uh, Nintendo initiative. Nice. Nope, you're not dreaming. Cuphead is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Yeah. You can thank Studio MBHR for making their award-winning game so special, and our friends at Microsoft for helping us bring Cuphead to even more players. Microsoft and know, Nintendo playing Cuphead nice. Cuphead made a deal with the devil, and now the beast is coming for his head, cup and all. In this run-and-gun action game, you'll dodge fire and dish out your own, whether you play solo or invite a buddy along for the ride. Those gorgeous hand-drawn cell animations rendered in classic 1930s style. Oh, if this is coming in a physical form, oh man, that would be Madigan awesome. Will still charm and haunt you in the best of ways. We may we'll actually see, see some Power Rangers Battle for the Grid gameplay. It's available for pre-purchase during today. this direct. Hello, everyone. I'm Kirk Scott, your friendly neighborhood indie guy. And I'm Katie Casper, the friendly gamer. Thank you for joining as we showcase Katie upcoming Casper, games in our the friendly first gamer. showcase of that's, 2019. That's pretty awesome. Throwback to wait Casper, to share the, the friendly news about ghost. Cuphead. And we're just getting started. While we are honored to bring you game series like Super Mario and The Legend of Zelda, there are many other worlds to explore. Created by our talented indie partners, these games embody the quality of curation that fans have come to expect on Nintendo Switch. That's right, Kirk. Developers across the globe have embraced Nintendo Switch, and they have plenty more unique experiences to share with everyone. Whether it's building a kingdom, vanquishing angels and demons, or just kicking back and tending a farm, games make our dreams a reality. Vanquishing angels and demons? so much available on Nintendo Switch already, really? we're delighted to show you that there's even more great indie content on the way later this year. See for yourself. Okay, show me. First up is Overland, a new take on the end of the world narrative from the creator of Cannonball, Adam Saltzman. Hmm. Not to mention the gorgeous award winning visuals by Heather Penn and the haunting original soundscape by Jocelyn Rays. It's a squad like focused turn based appearance. strategy game. I just don't like uh, strategy games. Choices. Will you search for supplies, heal a wounded ally, fight off a monster, rescue a helpless stranger, save your dog? Please save the dog. You can't do it Always all, save so the choose dog. your actions wisely as your band of friends road trips across the United States. Sounds easy, right? Well, there's a catch. The farther west you go, the weirder things get. Plus, all levels, roadmaps, and characters are randomly generated, so every playthrough offers a fresh take on this perilous journey. Travel the post-apocalyptic roads of Overland when it comes to Nintendo Switch this fall. Nice. One man is prepared oh, to destroy yes. anyone in his sight using moves reminiscent of a violent ballet, all while guided by a self-aware banana named Pedro. <laughs> using his arsenal of absolutely crazy skills, you'll battle through the violent underworlds of Old Town, District Null, and beyond. Go full throttle with cool. all your weapons and your body, jumping, flipping, and swinging while putting the drop on your This game's a physics enemies. masterpiece. Since you'll be running and gunning, there's bound to be chaos. It's gung Slow fu the game. The ballet. Pace your the actions game. and dual wield destruction with elegant accuracy. My friend Pedro drops in as a console exclusive for Nintendo Switch this June. 
Anybody else think that the logo reminds him of Burger King? In the emotional survival game, Neocab, fulfilling your job as a rideshare driver is the only way you might reunite with your best friend, Savvy, who's wanted by Capra, an omnipresent mega corporation. In this dystopic future, you're the last human driver in a city overrun by automation. As you navigate the streets of the fictional California city, Los Ojos, you'll meet a diverse cast of characters each with their own story arc. Your choices, like picking passengers, balancing your income, sustaining a positive rating, and managing your emotions via the fuel grid system. So you pass out water and snacks. All you need to maintain to keep your job and find your friend. Oh, and don't forget, and lighten the Capra mood. is watching. Neocab is scheduled to arrive on Nintendo Switch this summer. You know, I've always wanted to lead a pack of dogs in the wilderness. This next game will be as close as I ever get. Let's check in with Lindsay Rostel, the game's director. The Iditarod Dog Sled Race is a grueling thousand mile journey embarked upon by teams of dogs and mushers of all ages, genders, and skill levels every year. Hmm. Anyone can win, but many are just trying to finish, trying to prove to themselves that they can do it. As game director at Timberline Studio, I became fascinated, and some might say a little bit obsessed, with this idea. We knew we wanted to tell a story in the world of dog sledding. And while I don't intend to race in the real Iditarod anytime soon, we're thrilled and a little bit nervous to reveal our debut title, The Red Lantern. Nice. Do you have those moments that stick out in your mind? When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do, so choose wisely. I could be an astronaut, a CEO, a painter, a doctor. I could be anything. Hi, I'm supposed to achieve great things. That's been a long day already. Unfortunately for me, you are also your mistakes. And it turns out they tend to remember those more. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm a disappointment. I like the so cell shading I've style. So I decided to become something else. Something that can't be forgotten. I've got a plan. Get a van, fill it with dogs, go to Alaska, race in the Iditarod dog sled race, and finish. Nothing could take that from me. And things were going to plan. Oh, cool. Dogs, sled. On way. I like this. However, things tend to go to plan right up until May. Don't. Oh, puppy. Poor puppy. You are the musher training for the grueling Iditarod race. With your trusty crew of dogs, navigate the Alaskan wilderness oh, to that's find cool your looking way home. ice effect. Combining roguelike elements into this story-driven adventure game, hundreds of unique events can occur. Tend to your dogs, mend your own wounds, and hunt to survive. Thanks to the Nintendo Switch system, hopefully this also controls, comes out on PC. You can look around the environment with a simple turn of the system in handheld mode. Oh, cool. The Red Lantern races onto Nintendo Switch later this year. So this is going to be one of the games that uses the uh, the dual functionality you, screens. Katie, but when I play horror games, I jump a lot. Fortunately, Darkwood is going for that slow burn on the scare meter. Don't get me wrong, Darkwood will creep you out all while Ooh. changing the perspective on survival horror games. Craft weapons. Prepare this is giving me vibes of hideouts. eternal darkness. You'll explore and scavenge the but eerie like forest of the Soviet level. By day, then hunker down in your hideout at night. With nightmarish forces corrupting the woods, wait and pray for the sun to come up the next morning. The world of Darkwood is procedurally generated, meaning locations and events will vary for each playthrough and player. There's no linear path. I'm in not a woods, huge fan so of overhead. Caution and know each decision will impact you and the inhabitants of Darkwood. Darkwood creeps onto Nintendo Switch this May. But I, I do like the, uh, the atmosphere This next that game has both style and substance. Katana Zero. You play as a well-trained assassin, yes. the dragon, capable of instantly taking out any 
obstacles in your path. VHS tapes to save. powers and precognition allow you to both see the future and manipulate time. As you cut through each level, you'll leave no breathing bodies behind. I must recommend caution, though, since your foes can return the favor by eliminating you in a single hit. But don't fret. Oh, wow. The game literally rewinds the beginning of each level for you to learn and improve. Nice. Yes, that should work. After a hard-fought mission, sip some tea and try to rest. The next day, you'll take a seat on the therapist's couch and talk through your demons. Of course, make sure to get a much-needed refill of your medication before the next mission. That's Now go awesome. forth, katana in hand, and remember, leave no survivors. Katana Zero slashes its way to Nintendo Switch wow. April 18th. That's it's coming up really soon. Today. Devolvers this next look like they're trying to get wait. everything out. Let's save that joke for the developer. Wouldn't it be way cooler if they introduced the next game? Totally. So let's pass it over to our friends at Double Fine. Okay. Hi, I'm Lee Petty from Double Fine Productions, creator of Stacking and Headlander. And today, we're gonna show you something that has never been seen before. I heard it's rad. Don't spoil it. Shh. <laughs> uh... Every time I see Unreal Engine logo, I cringe. The world, twice destroyed, lies in ruin. Okay, that's, uh, interesting. So, if we what's are to the survive, joke? If the world is to blossom again, then we must find the one who is rad. Rad. Okay. So it's some weird looking cell shaded post apocalyptic right. game. Be gone, foul beats. This looks like a mobile game. Mutation. Mutation! Mutation! Yeah, I could actually see this game being controlled with on-screen prompts and buttons. What the? He created party buddies out of excrement. That's not right. What is Tim Schafer, though? Double Fine is always kind of pushing the boundaries of things that... I don't know. The child shows promise. Had but taste. the time has come for their real quest to begin. You are rad. Bandai Namco figures. They also did the last game Trust that they did that I was say, decent, which was Little Nightmares. You have no idea nightmares. what you're getting yourself into with this one. Unless you're talking about a pinball action-adventure game, you're right. That's exactly what this is. Not only is Creature in the Well a world oh, debut, cool. it's also a top-down action-adventure game inspired by the fine art of pinball. That's awesome. It all takes place in the desert where a giant creature has entrapped townsfolk in an eternal sandstorm. I can get behind As that. As the last engineer tasked with powering up a giant weather machine, your mission is to finish the job once and for all, before the world beyond the sandstorm is forgotten. Luckily, over 15 weapons are at your it's disposal. It's like Journey meets Pinball. And each one has the power to alter the way you interact with the ricocheting energy orbs in your environment. The controls may be simple, but there's a deep well of skills to master across all eight handcrafted dungeons. While you fight for survival, In a dungeon. savor every corner of this painterly world in all its pinball glory when Creature in the Well emerges from the depths this summer. Flight School developer. Nice. Betrayed and left for dead, Mr. Wolf finds himself alone, vastly outnumbered, and hellbent 
on enacting his revenge. On the bright side, he's got grit in his gut and a wolf on his head. That means you don't mess with this guy. The world is his weapon, and in this fast-paced, top-down action game from Paper Cult, it's yours too. So, choreograph the most spectacular combos you can, using everything from hatchets to ladders to carrots. Your alternative? Basically just death. Better improvise and fast as our lone anti-hero, Mr. Wolf. Wow, this looks like this would be speedrunning nightmare. Find out just how twisted this Western revenge tale will get Blood when Roots. Blood Roots comes to Nintendo Switch this summer. Paper cold. Okay. Aha! Are we actually seeing some pine? Are we actually seeing pine? I didn't think it would be ready yet. Probably not. It looks like Unity Engine, though. And it looks like their graphics art style. It looks like Pine. If it is, this is one of the games I've uh, crowdfunded. I don't remember seeing military foxes in the game yep pine yes that means that a i'll Primal have that Fantasy soon collides with the advanced game design of today in pine in this open world third person action adventure game give me a release the world date and your enemies will adapt to your choices you'll travel to six diverse biomes across miles of terrain and encounter five factions of creatures itching to dominate the food chain the only way to prepare is to scavenge, barter, harvest, craft items, and sell them at the market to stock yeah, you, up on Yeah, if you know supplies. me, you can already tell this is It'll up my alley and why I crowdfunded it. When Pine goes wild on Nintendo Switch. August. August. It may be out around my birthday then. Nice. Man, I love arcade games. But I'm me thinking too. it's time we bring some more to Nintendo Switch. Okay. How about some games from Rami Ismail and Jan Willem Neiman of the independent studio Blambeer? Yes, uh, but the people want to know what games and when. You won't have to wait long to fight endless hordes of enemies because Super Crate Box is coming out next oh, cool. month. It I just didn't care for a time players beer. can engage in fast-paced multiplayer like matches, spear. a feature that's exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version. Not my kind of gameplay. Plus, Nuclear Throne comes out oh, that's today. That's a good one too. Oh, it's nice. It's an action roguelike about mutants who spend their day fighting for the throne in a gritty post-apocalyptic world whether solo or with a fellow mutant buddy in co-op mode nice. you can become ruler of the wasteland oh and we have a new game announcement Vlambeer arcade it's a collection huh. of bite-sized games which will have a growing catalog over time interesting starting with ultra bugs ultra bugs is a fast-paced high score centric game where you pilot a ship to fight endless space bugs oh, that's cool that split up into more space bugs when you defeat them but never fear defeating the occasional boss monsters ultra bugs will unlock enemy dna that you can use to customize your ship blambeer arcade with ultra bugs is coming to nintendo switch later this year shooter fans we've shot planes out of the sky destroyed starships in outer space, and now the 2D shooting genre is going underwater. Okay. In this aquatic world, Ooh. you'll unload a variety of weapons and power-ups in co-op mode or versus mode. I like modes that. For one to four players or bots. This multiplayer underwater shooter comes with an oceanic amount of content. with more than 150 challenges across Holy eight game modes, geez. including wow. five versus game modes and five entire worlds to battle across in adventure mode. You'll be able to toggle between classic dual stick controls and motion aiming, whether you're playing locally or Why online. Would anyone ever the use online functions motion include aiming. matchmaking support, Makes no sense. and you can engage with friends via in-game voice chat or the party system. See where you rank on the online leaderboard when Swim Sanity makes a splash Swim on Nintendo Sanity. Switch this summer. Decoy Games, cool. Next up, check out the newest game from our friends at Inti Creates. Ooh. Love those guys. 
Inti creates and Come on. Sunsoft present the what? long awaited sequel to the mutant blasting yeah! adventure game. Blaster Master Zero is coming to Nintendo Switch. Awesome. Your new battle tank, G Sophia, is equipped with the Gaia system. Harness SP for its weapons and abilities anytime it falls from tall heights or takes damage. Build your arsenal of powerful sub weapons and blast any mutant scum that stands in your way as you traverse the stage. Jason also has some new tricks up his sleeve. Nice. You can now counter enemy attacks with the blast counter. If timed just right, they can be chained into multiple attacks that dish out lots I of I still wish this had originally enemy. come out as a, a physical release. In Blaster Master Zero 2, the stage is set in outer space, and there's more to explore than ever before as you travel across the galaxy. This is one of my favorite launch titles on the Switch. And their orbiting planetoids. Still wish it come Search out on for PC. New items that power up both G Sophia and Jason. During their journey, Jason and Eve will cross paths with a motley cast of fellow metal attacker tank pilots and their support droids. Will their fellow pilots become trusted friends or bitter enemies? Mutant blasting action is back! Blaster Master Zero Two! Nice. Available today! What? Today? Yes! I still Kurt, would why like are you upside to down have... right now? Well, there are many theories as to why, but the true reason remains That sounds a like bloodstained music. Perhaps there's an alternate dimension within these very walls that, until just recently, lay dormant. Or perhaps someone flipped the camera. No one can be sure. <laughs> Stranger Things. This is a video game. Three, the video game. They call him Punchy. How about it? July 4th. XP and Netflix Studios. It's no longer a mystery that the official game of Stranger Things Season 3 is coming to Nintendo Switch. That's this retro cool. style adventure game lets you play through and delve deeper into the events of Season 3 alongside a friend in local co op. Explore the town of Hawkins, solve puzzles, battle enemies, and uncover mysteries as one of 12 playable characters from the hit original series. Cancel your long weekend plans because the game arrives on Nintendo Switch the very same day as the third season on Netflix. Hey, stranger things have happened. Nice. Okay, that's quite a selection of games coming soon to Nintendo Switch. That can't be but all. guess what? There are tons of great indie games available right now on the system. To celebrate indie games and their creators, we're running a sale on some of these fantastic offerings. Cool. From Firewatch to Yoku's Island Express, there's no shortage. Okay. Video is unavailable. How about we don't have it be live then? No, they just pulled it. Wow. Well, I guess that's how it goes. So, yeah, Nindy hits uh, during GDC Spring Showcase from Nintendo. I approve, but I think you need to uh, fix your networking a bit, Nintendo. You didn't prepare for the hype that was your announcement. We'll see if we can refresh and do anything with this. Nope.
I do believe that's all we got. Unless this if I can get it to pull the actual Nintendo link for YouTube. Wow, that is nope, not having it anything. All right, so I'll try one more time. There we go. Video is unavailable. Yeah, it, it looks like it's gone. Well, guys, I I, I think that wraps up things. Um, let's uh, go ahead and chime in. Uh, what you think on the uh, games they showed, what you're excited about, and, you know, I'm really excited for Pine and for Cuphead. Those are my most anticipated off of that list. Uh, we didn't get to see any new Power Rangers footage, but, uh, yeah. Later today, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have the Power Hour on the Extra Life for Kids Twitch channel. And uh, I'll be back uh, hosting that on my Twitch channel as well. And uh, doing my reactions and impressions of what we get to see for the first time hands-on with the Power Rangers actors for Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. We are unsure if Mway will be present to have any... Uh, and instructional tutorials for the uh, cast and the uh, participants of the stream but regardless nonetheless I I'll be there and I will have it posted on YouTube guys hope you have a good night good day this is Auburn Knight your Tekken Green Crusader signing off take care <laughs>